March happens to be Women's History Month, and new history is actually being made through all three major Abilene High Schools. For the first time ever, Abilene High, Cooper, and Wiley all have female principals. KTAB's Tyler Henderson is talking to the heads of administration on these campuses, starting with our top story tonight at 5. A piece of Abilene history went relatively unnoticed. No, that wasn't something that I was aware of. I didn't know that that was the first time. Until someone mentioned it in a casual conversation. I think it's really neat that all three um, head principals are women. New Wiley principal Reagan Berry is the first female secondary principal in the school's history. While Emmy Seibert's Abilene High's second female principal in the school's 133 year history. Yeah, I hadn't really thought about it until that moment and I thought, oh, well, that's that's a big responsibility. They each come from a line of educators. All of my family's in education. My grandfather was a founding superintendent. And my father was an educator. And he always told me that I would be an outstanding teacher. In her 16th year with AISD, Cooper High principal Lindsay Williamson found her calling from an inspirational high school English teacher. Even though I didn't necessarily love the content, that uh, she really was able to push students to, to, to get them to a level they didn't even realize that they, they could be at. Working her way up from the classroom to counselor to the principal's office. But even coming from different backgrounds, their goal remains the same. It's feeding into those students and into those students' lives, especially in high school, you really get to see that. That pays dividends because their future is right around the corner. Building up the next generation of great young leaders. I just wanted to make sure that I was showing all of our students um, that they can achieve whatever they they want to achieve and that they there shouldn't be barriers to that. Giving them advice, especially the young future educators, both male and female. Learn from those around you. Watch, watch your teachers. Learn what you do and don't like. What you would what you would see your, you know to start forming how you see yourself as an educator in the future. Because it's not gender that defines the position. Rather, it's the qualities of a strong leader that wants to see those kids succeed. In Abilene, with coverage you can count on, Tyler Henderson, KTAB News. Thank you, Tyler. Indeed, all three strong leaders and all three principals expressing gratitude to their respective school districts, thanking them for their support throughout their careers.